Okay, this is the 10 Mile Creek outlet. Um, let's see, open ocean, hills on this side, little gap looking up the creek, hills on that side, and the house we like to stay at right up in the middle of that. So, if a surge comes, it's going to be guided right up this valley. Okay, here we are in a similar situation at Cape Perpetua. You can see pretty tall headlands on both sides and then the river valley carving up the middle. So if a surge comes, water will be funneled into that crack uh, and head up the river valley. Okay, where can we find a place that would simulate water rushing in between two headlands. I know. Follow me. Well, what better place to simulate the ocean than the ocean? Okay, here we are at a place where the ocean is surging in periodically. And you can see we've got the headlands here. Not a perfect simulation, but a little channel going up the valley. And Let's see what happens as the waves come splashing in. So we'll compare this point on the tip. It's getting a little bit swamped. But let's say we'll take this peak of the hill here as one possible destination. We're a little miniature person. And then looking at the road going up Creek. Yeah, farther up the valley. Which would you choose? Tsunami evacuation map for the Cape Perpetua area. And we can see we don't have to get too high above sea level. Right where we are. Um, yeah, we're just on the edge of the zone. Yeah, I would estimate we're a couple hundred feet above the ocean level. Well, based on this minimal amount of observation and experimenting, I would conclude getting altitude as quickly and as soon as possible is probably the priority. So I would opt for running on foot up a hill, if there is one nearby, rather than trying to get in a car and drive up a road that's following a river valley. That's my fairly unscientific conclusion, and you can take it or leave it. Just don't sue me.